I was an alcoholic and a drug addict. Alcoholics do exactly the same as drug addicts do. I was lying, cheating, I was stealing from my mum and anyone else to get alcohol. A lot of people have a dual addiction with drugs and alcohol. They just don't want to believe it. Cannabis and drink, heroin and drink, they just go hand in hand. The problem is you stop the harder, say the heroin, but the drink is still there and it becomes a vicious circle. I know I'm just someone with an addiction problem, but there is such a stigma. Nine of my friends died in seven months. My ex-partner choked on her own vomit. You have to admit that you've got a problem to yourself. You can have all the counselling in the world, but it's admitting that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's the first step. No one should have to live with the state of mind that comes with an addiction. I was referred to Bethlehem Addiction Service by a support worker. I think the first step of recovery is to see how others have gone through things and to see how they don't struggle as much now. That's the kind of thing that people need to hear and to know that there is that hope and there is that light at the end of the tunnel especially when they see that I'm no different from them and you're no different from them. Being with other people who have similar problems makes you realise that you're not on your own. Everyone's different, but there are similarities. Similarities in what we're drinking, what drugs we're taking, even the stuff that we were drinking. Rehab is about how to deal with the withdrawals and knowing what help and support and advice is out there to help you and to stop you from going into relapse. You don't just do your six weeks at Bethlehem Rehab and get a pat on the back and on your way. Getting back on your feet takes a long time and it's down to you to decide what you want to achieve. The first time I stayed for 24 hours and walked, I just walked. The second time I completed, but the day I came out, I got drunk that morning. The third time I completed, I stayed the distance and I achieved. And I've been sober for five years since. Why did it work for me the third time round? If I knew that, honestly, I'd bottle it and I would sell it. With recovery, you need to look around and find what works for you. A lot of people don't want to go to NA or AA, and that wasn't for me either. You need to find what's out there and what works for you and approach it like you're looking at shelves in a supermarket. Everyone needs to find the right support for them. I guess I started listening to what other people were saying and taking things day by day. I'm the same person now, just without the alcohol. Um, I listen to people more, I don't just dismiss them and I'm learning to cope with the bad days. Today is the most important day of my life.